I know. I've uh, just posted a video about Ataldasa. But I was playing my paladin a bit and uh, um, I stumbled upon something that was a pretty nice run. Didn't expect it to be. Um, just on the comms with uh, the hunter, no one else from the group is on comms. I wouldn't necessarily call it a pug though, I know. I know all these players on a on some kind of level. Um, the only thing I'm coordinating in advance is um, picks on the first pull, and that we're in with Skippin. Venus is boosted though. It's funny, like you. There's been a lot of people coming into this chat saying that. I don't know what he's done, man. Okay. Um. So I uh, <clears throat> killed a critter before you want to start the key, by the way. Otherwise, you're just going to be locked in combat when you're doing the shocking disclosure, whatever. Good morning, Benny. So we're starting off with going down, left, right. Uh, down to the left, not left, right. Um, down, left. Uh, there's basically three options to do this pool, by the way. Uh, if you're playing in lower keys with random pugs, you can just do it in two packs. But you do need to take some mobs here. Or you're going to have to kill a lot of honor guards, which is not that ideal, at least not on higher keys. The way we're doing it is we're taking these two packs, two times three, and there are also the two mobs in the back. Uh, the third option is that you wait for the second confessor that is patrolling from this side to this side what i struggle with a lot on my paladin is setting up each specific pull like ideally i would like to have my vendor shield to kick the far guy but i don't i feel like i lose threat on the first ones then and i did already i'm divine tolling at this point right now i think and I'm going to talk about a bit about the important casts. Argos have two. Uh, sorry, just one, really. I'm not going to care about the normal ones. Argos do Fire Enchant, which um, channel, I think it buffs the Juggernaut. I'm actually not sure about that. Whatever, you want to kick it. Otherwise, you're going to get Fire Pulls all over, and it does AoE damage as well. A massive amount of AoE damage. Basically, I don't know, on a disc fortified key, maybe four shots you. So we're not getting the second confessor. I also told the DH I don't care about the mending rod. The mending rod is a I swear to god I've read 15%, but I would recall yesterday I read 30% that it heals with 30%. However, you can see nothing has even lost more than 10% HP. So I told him I don't care about the mending rod. Uh, as long as he gets the the shield, which is this cast. It's pretty quick. At least it feels pretty quick. Uh, if that's not interrupted, there's a shield this size that is formed, which makes them immune to CC or interrupt. So that then you basically just have to outrange things. But as you can see, the pull is melting. It's a really free pull. What our hunter is doing is baiting all the juggernauts. <clears throat> I believe when the juggernauts are enraged, they are also slowed, by the way. But he's baiting them, and as long as you sidestep it, he won't get hit by the by the charge, whatever, the assault. You can also stun them last second when they cast it. You can stun it during the cast, or stop it during the cast, and that way it goes on cooldown. <laughs> like that knock-up. As you can see, two of them went on cooldown. <clears throat> Didn't even use Vortex here, for example. Which we definitely should have. I think that would be just just insta use it. Uh, we're going down here to basically clear off poo poo. Uh, I don't think this is a good place to pop CDs in general because you're just chaining these smallies and well, two skyscrapers on top of the third one in the last pack. Uh, but nothing really has to die. I think it's great. 
to get CDs back up for the next pull, which would be the Honor Guard. So we're taking this in as well. Don't take more than one side pack. Maybe if there's one left and everyone is healthy, but I uh, really want to be careful with these some fortified weeks and tyrannical weeks. It's not as big of a deal. At this point, I have done, I think, I don't know, less than 20 completed keys on my Paladin, and it feels weird to actually. I'm 474 item level as well. And I don't think I should be doing keys that I haven't done on my warrior after doing 80 plus total keys. I mean, I obviously played some party in season one. Watch out for the st stalker that's here. And here we're actually chilling because these stalkers do fucking hurt. And the honor guard as well, as you can see few seconds extra but you can see just watch him do the final knives here now so I did lose damage from probably the honor guard before but Phoenix for example I think that was 30-40% HP but then again as uh, Tosta said in chat he's boosted so I'm joking by the way <laughs> um there's two more stalkers that you want to get into this pool but this is fine like we're chilling a bit here you could probably go faster but you definitely don't want more than two stalkers at the same time and the honor guard is also questionable to have with with more than one stalker you could argue that you could take this stalker with the sarids downstairs but um Fan of nice to get it with the sides would probably kill you, so you would maybe have to take it with something else. <clears throat> Keep in mind that you could choose to use your Hodge for the Stalker instead of the Shield Bearer. Just as soon as it, the ability is ready, you could Hodge it, uh, delay it by 5 seconds. There's two more Stalkers here. Gonna flare them, but he fails to flare, I think. It does end up getting them, but I also run after them on like CB. Then I get stuck. <laughs> this is like a panic. It's like, oh shit, oh shit, they're coming. Look at that. Oh shit, oh shit, and I get stuck. But right, we finished these up. Um, prior to Stalkers, obviously, you could even argue to prior just one. After this, it's a bit messy. It's actually not. It's just just have to have it coordinated people knows how to has to know how to skip this there's a stalker here right so our demon hunter used spectral sight and caged that stalker so we can't pull him these shield bearers have him this that uh, stealth with deck sorry so when you pot you have to hug left side <clears throat> but then we just run like this you also want to be careful to not run over here we so pull this pack before the gate is up once the gate is up it's fairly safe you can still manage to pull it in a lot of ways however also coordinated for us to be fed out on totems <clears throat> uh, i didn't like playing this boss as a paladin as a consecration And you can see throughout this key that I do lack experience on my Paladin and that it's a lot more CD based compared to um, Warrior. Kill these totems at the same time when they're gonna rebirth. Wonder how many so times I've heard this specific song whilst making some kind of video. <clears throat> I'm 
trying to like take the bus a bit further out and stay safe but I don't like it I prefer like standing on one side and just always dodging backwards but that would mean that I'm moving out of my consecrate way too early and would spend most of my GCDs on consecration I think this is a good spot at least on tyrannical weeks this would be a good spot to go for increased consecration size probably uh once we get to the gate spot around here i'm gonna zoom zoom past because i'm, I'm a bit scared and i don't want to go oom um either i didn't end up cleansing myself And I'm not cleansing anyone else at this point either, but I am sending word of glories. Mm -mm. It's more or less dead. When we want to leave this place, we cage right side and we just walk by. Left side, you gotta wait for some pathing if you do that, so I'd recommend the right side. Right side is always safe. Watch out for the stalkers, there are two stalk there is two stalkers here. And we're chilling because if I would have gone into the pack right now, I would have proc for no reason. Which could have been fine. But we're chilling. Doesn't have CDs yet anyway, so I'm just bumming my sentinel back up. And I pop it and we go. Uh, focus the stalkers here as well. After they're dead, you can actually start chaining to the next city. Sorry. Fucked up with kicks there. So our evoker got hexed. And you gotta open the gate. It's open, pull in. It's just the shield bearers now, so let's say we wouldn't have stops for the shields. We can just easily move out of them, let them live, like they don't matter too much. It really has to consume a lot of mana on these, I think. Because I would believe he's going some close to boom. I would believe he's going close to boom before we're going the middle path. <clears throat> I really like how this works out, basically. Because he is managing to constantly chain pull and keep his mana up. Uh, until we're actually at the end of the hallway. Then he's completely um. So we're just killing these sides now. And then we I would have chained. <clears throat> I would have chained already. But I'm asking. No. Okay, then we go. Okay, you wanna focus on Zumi and I see Bay taking anything else yet, because it is a pretty hectic fight. You can see our evoker dies quite rapidly, I believe. I want to make sure to try and bait the charge away. I tried to help out, but I was half a second off. He just got jumped by the sides. That is also another retarded thing of me. I gotta stop checking that. Then again, when I actually feel like we're in push keys, like this is a learning phase still, so I think checking that kind of makes sense because you kind of figure it out. Uh, I should also be playing. Um, should also be playing Bob here probably. Uh, I don't know how the fuck I accidentally skipped like this. The Dynamancy you have to kick it, but I usually just have it for my focus target. Kick the heal. Point I'm chaining now again. I'm trying to think how I actually want to do this. And then we just chain to the next pack. 
<clears throat> and they don't do much. Oh, technically, I could have gotten the fastest in instant as well. Next attack already. Especially if I had Divine Tome. But I didn't want to risk it, and we are playing pretty chill here in general. I'm still managing. Why have I not beat you yet? I should have used it from the very start when they cast it. Now I told them that we're going Rasan, and Rasan is actually pretty busted with um with a hunter. Because every fixate that's on him, he can just feign it. Finishing this jumping down, perfect timing. I don't think we have to see too much of Rasan. I think we can at least speed it up in in two. I'm stone forming this bleed. Suit first, he melts it. Stone form that bleed. Should have maybe bubbled it. I don't think I have to bubble the bleed here. But maybe I'm bubbling next one. No, he's dispelling next one. Then I bubble probably. Let me see, but I do think I should have bubbled there. I'm not bubbling this one, I don't know. Um, but then the question is what is my CD of bubble afterwards and you can bait the pursuit by being the only one standing in range if everyone else is standing in melee and you're the only one in range I'm going to pursue you One third left on my bubble. And since we cleared these skyscrapers, we just run up here. And we're doing the hardest part perfectly fine. Going. I'm actually splitting this up in two. I was planning to take left side, but then I realized we've got everything, right? So we're just taking this. And we could probably play it together without an issue. But I thought our timer was more than fine, so. I think what you would want to do is just pull this something on boss here because eventually you're gonna get the four faces anyways and then any damage you're gonna do to the boss is gonna be irrelevant so we should just pull the boss right now Those nameplate targets doesn't work on those small priests, by the way, you have to look who the beam is going for, and that guy should soak the puddle if you can live it. Uh, the way we're doing ads is we trap the first one, we're rooting next one, then we landslide the third, and all three together, that is. I really like how much you can help out as a paladin. I can like, but... Uh, we're gonna go back to normal speed. Uh, at like 8 seconds before it starts casting. 
no, sorry, that is wrong. About four seconds before. And no, it's more six seconds before you can soak the puddle. Because it's six plus four plus six. Five then. Alright, spell ward one guy, sack Sana. Like this shit actually hurts. Twenty eight palace eyes can hurt like a truck, I believe. And the way this boss works is whenever you are in a blood puddle, have that debuff on you during his transfusion, he will lose his health instead of that. Instead of gaining. Instead of leeching, it takes even more. And he dies now, and our hunter tries to go and activate the poo poo, but he, he dies from fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> so you do want to try and get this event activated as soon as possible because it's um you know, 10 second timer we are definitely doing this boss messy but I'm not used to it at all, doing it with other people, or uh, as a paladin, that's for sure. <clears throat> but uh, it's, it's working out right, but it is messy. I'm not sure who I'm throwing my sack on here, but I should always be doing it on the evoker more or less. The thing is he shouldn't need every single one, I think he should need maybe each second. So, to begin with, I'm giving it to the Evoker, then I'll give it to the Hunter, because he needs it before he's dead. No, because I'm figuring, well, we're losing more damage from resting the Hunter than resting the Evoker. Here, I think I moved too much. We should have probably baited in the corner, previous corner, and then now ran over here. Then they could have put it in that corner rather than in this corner but they're going upstairs which is a bit messy but it's fine and we see her try to help out with healing but I'm also as specified not very used to playing paladin And I sacked Volker again, but I shouldn't have. He was more than fine. The age was as well, but I shouldn't have sacked anyone, or I should have sacked the age. They're going up again. Oh no, actually, I place a marker in the corner. Gold markers is actually a pretty good thing to have if you're pugging and not playing with comms. Gold markers, pings, pings is also fine, but I feel like gold markers is just. They feel kind of friendlier and a better indicator. But they also don't necessarily uh, say what you mean though. And I should be marking again. And at this point I'm sacking the hunter I think. No way you do Hogo. This should also be getting pretty high for them to get out I believe. But they are getting out. Spiders went small, they're fine. At this point, I should be behind the boss and we should be stacking together. So, 
to like let's say planet to drop ads like the souls shred soul rend thingy after that you move a bit but basically so you can be behind the boss and be where you were before at the pond you wait for them to go big ones after that i think you move plenty it's either after that or you move halfway and then move plenty and technically i should i shouldn't be um i could min max my movement by whenever i am standing still i should be behind the boss and not in front <clears throat> that means whichever spider they were here whichever spider is coming for me right Is them moving now? Let's say this guy is coming for me, right? He's taking this line right now. If I would be over here, he would be taking this line. So, let's say he gets to over here, right? Uh, the difference is this much. It's not very much, but it's still like a second. And this can still be the difference in this corner if you're gonna die or not. Right. Thanks for watching.